Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Curls, 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 it's all about curls. I'm doing a three-part curls series where today in part one, we're gonna learn all about curls. We're gonna try on lots of curly styles and be sure to catch part two and three where we're gonna talk about caring, maintenance of curls, styling with curls, and making them your own. Coming up. All of these wig styles that you're seeing today can be found at wigstudio1.com. If you expand the description box below, you'll find all of the links and promo codes if you decide to make a purchase. If you have a question about anything on these styles or any other, please contact support at wigstudio1.com. They're always here to help. So we're gonna talk about and show you lots of different curly wigs today, like a big try-on of curly wigs. Now, I'm not talking about waves, a slight wave or even a full wave. I'm talking about full-on curls. We absolutely adore them, but they mystify us. So I'm gonna to try to take some of the mystery out of how to work with them in this series as well. In part one today, I'm gonna to take you through a variety of styles so that you can see the different kind of curl patterns. Now curls, uh, in the natural hair world, curls are genetic. Um, you have curly hair, you don't. People with curly hair want straight hair. People with straight hair want curly hair. But curls come in a variety of shapes and sizes. It could be, there could be big, bouncy, buoyant kind of curls, these springy, tightly coiled kind of curls. Um, you can get kind of a zigzag pattern kind of a curl. All of this occurs in the natural world. And so we're gonna see that reflected in a lot of different wig styles. You can see anything from a smooth, polished type of curl to something more frizzy and Afro-like. So we talked about curls being completely genetic. Did any of you have or your children have a Play-Doh set where there was a pump and you could attach a little template to that pump and when you extruded that Play-Doh through that template, it would create a design. That's exactly how it works in the natural world when it comes to curl. Your hair follicle, if it's perfectly round, it will come out straight. But if there's any little imperfection in that hair follicle, it's going to grow unevenly and create a curl and lots, lots of different curl patterns depending on the shape of that follicle. And then you can have t different textures. You can have coarse, thick texture, frizzy, fine, lots of different textures. And that's determined by the amount of keratin in each uh, strand of hair. And that's also a genetic trait. So we're gonna focus on curly wigs today. I'm just gonna show you a variety of curl patterns that you can see in this wonderful world of wigs. Now, Ellen Villa seems to have a variety of curls. They really embrace curls. Some brands might have one curly style, but a lot of them are kind of afraid of curls, just like what we are. Um, we love the look of curls, but we're just kind of intimidated by them. And we're gonna discuss that in this series. But let's take a look at what's on my head now. This is the Ellen Villas Wiki, W-I-K-I. This is a very polarizing style. Every time I have reviewed this style, I've gotten, I love it or I hate it. And we're all entitled to our opinions, right? But it's how it makes me feel. So this Wiki is more like an Afro type texture. The curl is actually just like a little tight zigzag or S pattern. It's very tightly bound. It has a bit of a frizzy texture. It looks kind of damaged, but a lot of times in the natural curl world, you can also see a frizzy texture. Fibers are more on the fine side, but they're also more on the dry side. You're gonna find that a lot with curls. Curls tend to be a little more drier in their texture. And when I first started to wigs, I swore, swore I was only gonna buy straight styles from then on out, because if I could choose, I was gonna go straight. I was sick and tired of that curl, and guess what? I'm right back there. I feel very at home with my curls. Curls are whimsical. They're, uh, they're, you have a lot of anonymity under a, a full head of curly hair and you don't take yourself or life too seriously. It's not polished and sophisticated. It's very casual looking. And that's why I think I always come back to curly styles. So one other reason for the frizz, I think with curls, is just because uh, all of the strands of hair support one another. So they, that's what forms the curl. And if you interrupt 
that uh, scaffolding effect that you see going on there with the curl, it is gonna create some frizz. The Wiki is just like a, a white afro in its texture. It's thicker in density. Now this is just a standard cap style, so you're going to see a lot of permatease on Wiki. That's gonna help keep its volume and shape. So yes, girl, it looks like I put my finger accidentally in a light socket and got shocked. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the reason why I love it. How can I be too serious when I'm wearing this style? Another reason why curls are amazing is number one, they're less, usually less shiny. Um, not a hint of shine on this fully synthetic curly wig. And it's, it's probably just because of there's less surface area. The light bounces off and reflects off of a curly hair a little differently than straight hair. Another benefit to curls is, if you do see a little bit of wear and tear on the fibers, uh, curly wigs tend to last longer because it's disguised within the curl. The curl is already kind of uh, frizzy and textured, so when you start to see a little bit of wear, it isn't quite as obvious as it would be on a straight style. So here I'm wearing Wiki in the color Light Honey Rooted. So the curl pattern is very much like that original one. And I've had this one for a while. People can't help but to remark on the hair. And they typically don't say anything unless they really like it. But I do get some side glances. You know, I just feel like I wear it with pride. So this is the newest Wiki purchase that I made. This is in Light Bernstein Rooted. Love, love, love the color combinations of, of some browns, some auburns, and some butterscotch blonde. But you can already tell that this texture is a lot different than the other two, can't you? It's more frizzy, but it doesn't have quite the kink uh, and definition in the curl. It just looks frizzy. So here's another recent purchase of Wiki. Again, more frizzy than curly there at the front. It's a little bit of a softer texture too, a more cloud-like, all the very fine fiber, but kind of frizzy. This is in the color Silver Blonde Rooted. It's a silver blonde with just some specks of some beige blonde in there on a medium brown root. This color reminds me exactly of the Silver Sun RT8 by Aesthetica. This is Jamila Plus by Ellen Villa in the color Light Honey Rooted. It has a lace front and then is open top, sides and back, tons of permatease. So these curls are more bouncy and buoyant, almost fully formed, perfect little ringlets. So this is more of a thick density style and it has a coarse textured curl to it. So it feels coarse and rather dry. Now, since I've owned this, since November of 2017, this has never seen a brush or a comb. Finger style only. That is the key to keeping these curls intact, even through washing. So you don't wanna miss part two where I discuss these curls and how to maintain them and care for them because there's a lot of do's and don'ts when it comes to curl. You can really mess up a curly wig if you're not careful. I don't think I would like this one quite as well if it did not have a lace front because that allows me some off of the face styling which is very consistent with this big volume, don't you think? There's also lots of different styling to help sculpt this into something that is very flattering to me. We're also going to talk about that later in the series. So here is another style by Ellen Villa. Did I tell you they have the best selection of curly styles of any brand? This is Storyville by Ellen Villa in the color Champagne Rooted. So Storyville has a lace front, is open top, sides and back, lots and lots of volume. But compared to the Jamila Plus, these curls are more in an S-shaped pattern. Um, it is not a fully formed ringlet, nor is it kinky and zigzaggy like the, uh, the Wiki. 
So it's kind of like the wiki might have grown out and just the weight of the style kind of loosened the curl pattern a little bit. You're gonna see more of an S pattern throughout this curl. Lots of volume, lots of permatease. The fiber has a nice cloud-like texture to it. I'm just absolutely in love with this style. It has just that 70s kind of retro, Tina Turner, Donna Summers, you know, it's just, it's big and beautiful and you gotta own it. I mean, you should have confidence when you walk out with a full head of curls like this because it's gonna get attention. Yep, you guessed it. Another Ellen Villa style to show you. Girl Mono in the color Champagne Rooted. This Champagne Rooted is uh, darker and much more gold in tone than the one that I just showed you on the Storyville. Um, now this curl pattern is a little bit unique. Most of you who purchase Girl Mono are not gonna see this separated air dried look curl pattern. So most of the Girl Monos that I have seen recently just don't have a texture like this. Uh, it's softer, it's a bigger curl, but you can still get a nice messy effect from it. And one of the absolute greatest parts about wearing a curly synthetic wig is that when you step outside in the heat and humidity, it's not gonna change. If you have natural curly hair, uh, it tends to just frizz up, frizz out, and be out of control. Now, human hair wigs will frizz out because they're made of human hair and they're subject to all of those uh, variations with weather changes. This is Kenya by Envy in the color Lighter Red. This is one of those curly styles they came out with a few years ago. And I can only imagine um, people will struggle with uh, figuring out how to make this work. I mean, you love this curl. The curl is little ringlets. There's also some ones that are more loose in nature and some that are tighter, but it is nice and bouncy and it's just a full head of curl that goes almost all the way up to the root. It is adorable if you love curl. It's just an open cap. It has a wee little bit of monofilament at the crown. Lots and lots of permatease. So now I'm back wearing Julie by Renee of Paris. And I chose Julie to show you because it has more of a tighter spiral curl pattern to it. And a spiral curl is just a ringlet curl that seems to be a little slimmer and a little bit more stretched out, but still has the definition of curl. Now Julie's curl goes almost all the way up to the root. This is a lace front left monofilament side part. I've got a little bit of bounce and separation. There's a ton of permatease on this style. I don't think I've seen a style with more permatease actually. All around that monofilament, thick, thick, heavy, um, all throughout the back and especially right there above the nape. It feels like a, a Brillo pad was sewn into the back. Now what you'll see though is that that just really supports this style. So it gives it some volume. It still manages to let these curls kind of swing freely and have nice movement. The other, cur the other curly style by Renee of Paris called Hudson, which is long and has spiral curls. Like this Julie really reminds me of a Hudson that's had a haircut. Really does. Um, not a fan of the lace front very scratchy, a bit shiny, and honestly, I'm not even sure you can see any of the monofilament features because there's such a thick density on this style. So although I think this is a really cute style, I think there were some misses here and there, but the curl is super cute. Okay, so this concludes part one of my Curls, Curls, Curls series where we discussed all the types of curls, why the curls are different, in part two and three, we're gonna go through the care and maintenance, the do's and the don'ts on curly wigs, as well as some styling to make them your own. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.